consider our authentication has succeeded this is the code where we will be getting the uh, feed from any user using the twitter endpoints so let's just check it I think it's for something like timeline. Oh yeah, here it is. This one. Okay, so what we are using is the endpoint called user underscore timeline. Let's check this as well. The name of the endpoint is user underscore timeline. And if I remember correctly, this accepts a user underscore screen. Yes, we can pass a n string, actually a string, which is screen underscore name. It is basically the displayed username of any Twitter account. Other than that, we can also pass a user underscore ID, which is the actual account ID of Twitter. Most of the cases, in most of the cases, you will be using the screen underscore name. As I told earlier. The ST Twitter API gives you access to all of the endpoints in Twitter API. So we will be using this user underscore timeline with the ST Twitter API. So you just need to call this get user timeline with screen name using your Twitter variable which is of class ST Twitter API. So here there are three methods with the user timeline. I think uh, all of these methods will uh, get you the same results. But in first method we can specify a limit for how many results will be replied in our status which is by count. So like if you want only tw uh, like around 20 results to be returned to you you can use this first method of uh, with count uh, the same site is for a date which is like you will be uh, you can provide a date sorry uh, id since id what we will be using is this particular third one i think that's the most basic and simple one get user timeline with screen name and a string we will be passing it a screen name and it's success block so just get it let's grab a screen name as well i will use this dota 2 ti screen name okay so we will have to pass a screen name here you can directly define your screen name this way but since i have declared a dynamic variable i will be using your screen name okay so here it is another code block one block is success block other block is error block like in our earlier error block uh, where did it go actually here this error block will also be returning you a ns error while the success block will be returning in as a ns array with the status of the twitter screen name dota 2 ti so let's declare our success block first the upper cap since it returns ns array okay let's call this status actually let's call it data the error block declare it with upper heart error okay so here i will be again ns logging the error this particular error block will most probably 
uh, be called when there is some problem with the connection or authentic uh, actually there shouldn't be a problem anymore with authentication so most probably if the screen name doesn't exist or the tweets doesn't exist or anything like that if there is any problem the ns log will show you uh, most probably the exact problem or error code as written by the twitter api so considering we have the uh, statuses in our success blog we will first just ns log this since we has, uh, haven't run our code even once let's just first do a test run to make sure that our code till now is working successfully okay so Oh, oh. oh, okay, my bad, my bad. I declared the method but didn't call it anyway. Okay. Let's just create a breakpoint here so that the code stops for once so we can read our data okay let's see uh, this is our OAuth token which we ns logged somewhere here and looks like our request was successful so we came to the success block this error blocked and executed here again we came to the success block here so this error block didn't execute it as well so we have status contributors coordinated created it yeah basically we have i think all of the status yeah so now we have an array with all of the status from this twitter account dota2 dota2 uh, dota ti what we can do here is one more thing dota2 dot count okay i think So we have around 11 results by default in our array. Let's take a look at the user and score timeline. Actually I didn't check how many tweets this particular account has. Yeah, it has 11 tweets. Let's check some bigger account like Dota 2. 3437 tweets. So we will change the screen name here to Dota 2. We are just checking here that this particular method verify credential with success block how many tweets it can return. Okay, 20. So the default amount of tweets it will return to you is 20. and let's check our other method as well here which was twitter k 
care, Euler, timeline. 